Let's welcome to our stage North Carolina's king of comedy, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jay Hickman. Shit, I ain't been so popular since I bought DeLorean stock. I don't have no goddamn luck with cars at all. I got one of them Toyotas, got in that some bitch night, went to crank it, the engine fell out of it, all four wheels fell off of it, steering wheel fell off of it. Little Japanese jumped out of the glove compartment and said, you asked what you got it, bend over Toyota. Oh! Oh, what a feeling. I guess it is a good feeling fucking me out of $20,000. Got my other car, one of them French cars called Le Car. First thing to go, love brakes. Then I got my wife's car. She's got a Camaro. Camaro, that's an Indian word for fill this fucker up again. <laughs> I was kidding about the DeLorean and all that shit, but I'm telling you, drugs is crazy these days. I was at a damn party the other night. Old woman, 60 years old, come to me and said, Jay, smoke this shit. It's called Colombian gold. Damn, talking about knocking your dick in your watch pocket. I smoked that son bitch, felt something cold on my shoulder, looked up, it's the fucking floor. Pulled up to a stop sign, waited 10 minutes, that fucker turned green. <laughs> Another friend of mine said, go get you some cocaine. Yeah, cocaine, that's God's word for you making too much fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a friend I thought I had, $100 for a little bit of shit wouldn't fill up a thimble. Turned out to be bacon soda and I snored the whole goddamn thing. Ever since then, I've been wanting to sit in the refrigerator and suck up fucking odors. That shit'll get the best of you. There ain't nothing more embarrassing. The police get you out of the car, tell you to walk that white line, you get on your hands and knees, try to snort that fucker. <laughs> Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago? Black guy from Chicago? I bet you're a mean motherfucker, ain't you? <laughs> shit, yeah. This here the college grad with them round glasses on, right, brother? <laughs> oh, well, he's the lawyer. He's gonna get you out of jail, right? <laughs> You see them car commercials on TV, got Bill Cosby driving a Ford? Ain't that some bullshit? Ain't no black man giving up a Cadillac for a fucking Ford. You see a black man in the Ford, he's in a backseat handcuff. Who they bullshitting? Shit. I grew up in my all black neighborhood in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. For 15 years, I thought my name was Seifu. So I walked down the street, all the black guys stood on the corner and went, Seifu! Used to bust me to all white school. I wanted to go to black school. We never did win a fucking football game. <laughs> Wasn't cause a black school had better athletes or better coaching staff, better facilities. It was the fucking spirit. White chillies come out doing cheers like, two bit, four bit, six bit a dollar. All four high schools stand up and holler, yay. <laughs> black chillies over, kick them in the mud, kick them in the dirt, get your motherfucking ass up, honky. You ain't hurt. How the hell we from? <laughs> Shit. And we can say anything in the world to a black guy. They got two words that fucks our whole day up. Black guy step out and side, off the sidewalk in front of our car. We getting ready to go. Get out of the way, you black motherfucker. You don't own the goddamn road, you son of a bitch. Get your black ass back up on the goddamn sidewalk, you black son of a bitch. I'll blow your goddamn brains in, you black motherfucker. Black guy said, your mama. <laughs> hey, what do I say now, Harry? I done used mine all up. It's like a little, 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 little white guy standing in the bathroom pissing. Big black guy running and pulled out a great big old black dick and said, oh, I just made it. Little white guys, you make me one of them in white? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'll tell you the damn truth. I'll give black, white, what y'all said? We got some little Japanese fuckers over here tonight. How y'all doing? <laughs> I, I, got, I, got a, I got a radio on you looking after the show, all right? Come in here tonight and look at the vertical pussy, huh? <laughs> but, but it don't matter where we are, we all grow up, get married. So I've been happily married three fucking times. My first old lady, she was a woman's liver. Divorced me for opening the car door for her. We was going 55 mile an hour, but fuck her. <laughs> Bitch just couldn't take a joke. She told me one time, said, take me somewhere I've never been before. I took her to the fucking kitchen. $900 I spent on her going to Julia Child's cooking school. Bitch made meatloaf that glowed in the fucking dark. 
You think this bitch couldn't cook with flies Chip in bought us a fucking screen door. I should have known not to marry her. I met her at a bar. I said, I sure would like a little pussy. She said, me too, mine's big as a hat. <laughs> but it's amazing when you first get married, you know? Things go good when you first get married. After you're married for a while, you go into all that shit, man. I went home the other night, the old lady said, what you mean coming here half drunk? I said, I run out of fucking money. I went home one night, she's packing her goddamn suitcase. I said, where are you going? She said, Las Vegas, Nevada. I said, for what? She said, I understand out there, I can get $400 a shot for what I've been giving to you for nothing. I started packing my goddamn suitcase. <laughs> she said, where are you going? I said, Las Vegas. She said, for what? I said, I want to watch you live on $800 a fucking year. <laughs> it is amazing, when you first get married, goddamn, you get that pussy every day. No problem. You want some pussy? Get that pussy. No problem. Shit. Be anywhere. Be in the damn kitchen by the sinks. Baby, I sure would like some pussy. Come get the motherfucker. You know what No goddamn problem. But a woman don't go from giving you pussy every day to every other day to once a week, to once a month, to once every two months. No, shit. You go from getting that pussy every day to fucking never. You think something doesn't grow up on your dick and make it look funny or something. You don't. So after about three months of begging for it, you go in the bedroom, get all dressed up in your nicest suit one Friday night. Come out, there she'll lay on the sofa, smoking a Virginia Slim and reading one of them goddamn Cosmo Pops. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let your old lady subscribe to Cosmo Paul. And that some bitch is 260 pages long and 250 of them is why she shouldn't fuck you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So you go in, there she lay on the sofa, you say, hey babe. What do you say you jump up, put on one of your nicest cocktail dresses, we'll go out, have a few drinks, have something to eat, go dancing, come home, build a fire, open a bottle of wine, and make love like we used to. I'm not in the mood. You not in the what? I'm not in the mood. Well, that just suits the shit out of me. Did you think I wanted some of your pussy? <laughs> I don't want none of your goddamn pussy. Keep your pussy to yourself. I was getting pussy before I met you. Do you know that? Yeah, getting my dicks up too. Walk, walk, all the goddamn time. <laughs> you don't give me no pussy. Keep your pussy to yourself. I hope the some bitch heals over, breaks out underneath your arm, after raise your elbow to piss. <laughs> Cause I can get me some pussy. I'm still a man. You get in the car, screech out of the driveway. Whoa, 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 bitch won't give me no pussy. I'll fuck everything in town. Oh, treat me like shit. I'll get the herpes and bring them motherfuckers home. Oh, fuck that shit, the bitch will treat me like shit. Oh. Four o'clock that morning, there you sit by yourself, shit-faced at Denny's. <laughs> I mean, the bus boy look real good. <laughs> so you go, you decide once again in your drunken stupor, you're going home, make love to the wife. My goddamn, why the fuck if I want to? If you make it home alive, you park a car somewhere between the driveway and the front porch. Go in the front door, put your shirt tail in, you don't straighten yourself up, don't let her know you're drunk, right? Don't know why you put your shirt tail in, because your zipper's busted, you done pissed all over yourself. <laughs> I'm like most drunks, I get drunk, I get conceited. Go to the bathroom to take a leak, hold my two inch dick like a baseball bat and piss on my last three fingers. <laughs> or just pull out a hair and piss in my pants, one of the two, you know? So you go in, the only light on is a little closet light. My old lady's like a lot of women. She sleeps in a nude just to fuck with my mind. Ain't gonna give me no pussy, but lays out like a buffet where I can see it. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll reach out and touch it. What'd you do that for? Hell, it would lay in there, shit. <laughs> Thought the son bitch might move. The only light on is that little closet light. The beam of light's coming out of the door where it's partially cracked. The blanket's pulled down on one side of her and one tit looking at you. You drunk and it's four o'clock in the morning, that fucker looks big. <laughs> you start looking around, make sure you done walked in the right fucking house. You see that son bitch again, you start to move on. God damn. Big old fucking titty over. If I ever get over, I'm gonna have to suck that son bitch. <laughs> Shh. 
Sugar? Hey, baby cake. She'll give you one of these. <sighs> You're fucking drunk. You know it doesn't get hard when you're drunk. Once in a while, I'd like a blue vein throbber. Oh, you know what that is? Well, a blue vein throbber ain't something a man snaps his goddamn fingers and gets. That's one of them some bitches you can't turn the skin on it with a Sears wrench. That's one of them bastards you wake up with about the fifth week of boot camp. Got his head sticking out of the blanket, looking around like a fucking periscope. Got a mind of his own, I'm gonna go fuck something downtown. No, you ain't. Then she give you this shit. You don't do anything to stimulate me. Why don't you buy me a vibrator? Why don't I put it in your mouth and you hum? All right, you smart ass. No more sex till I get a vibrator. Well, I said to hell with it. I went right in one of them all night cheap fucking bookstores. Had a big flashing neon sign said all night cheap fucking bookstore. <laughs> went in there and bought the deluxe model called Big Red. Some bitch was nice. Well, $195 was the first payment. Four speed with three Mercury engines on the back of this fucker. Turbo charge and a crash helmet in case you get thrown off. <laughs> it's overdrive's a motherfucker. <laughs> Goddamn batteries go dick. <laughs> My, my first old lady was one of them women that had to tell everybody in the world when she was climaxing. And we had to live with her mom and daddy because we didn't have no money. And her daddy didn't like me worth a shit. And we had to sleep in the next bedroom with them paper thin walls. And let me tell you something, it's a medical fact. A man does not like the idea of you fucking his daughter. I don't care how many ceremonies you've been through. Dick his little girl, uh-uh. And every time me and this bitch is making love, she's in there. I'm coming! I am coming! She's gonna wake that motherfucker up! I am coming! He used to beat on the door and go, where the fuck you going? <laughs> then you get them women wanna ask you questions in the middle of making love. Right in the middle of the whole goddamn thing, won't give you a little fucking pop quiz. You know? Is it good? It's good to me. Is it good to you? I feel so good about it. I, I tell you what, it feels so right to me. It wonderful after all this time in our relationship. I feel so good about it. Does it feel good to you? It feels good to me. You won't talk, you won't fuck. <laughs> You let me get this shit over with, I'll go home, fill out a report, and mail the motherfucker in. <laughs> My old lady bought one of them books that says that you're supposed to tell your partners when you're climaxing, no matter who you are. Well, that's bullshit. It, it depends on what kind of voice you have. Uh, you imagine somebody like Lawrence Welk climaxing? A wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> a one and a two, and I'm a through. Gomer Powell, Shazam. <laughs> Lou Ann, you sure do know how to suck a Peter doll up. <laughs> Tattoo, the pussy boss, the pussy. <laughs> Fuck the plane, how about the pussy? <laughs> Jimmy Stewart, climaxing. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm done. Uh, uh. Nixon, wouldn't that be romantic? Pat, give me a Hummer. <laughs> Come on, look back this one time for me, I'm coming. <laughs> Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Rosalind, my peanut's spitting at you again. Get him, Goober. <laughs>